Dudes and dudettes, how are you guys? This is Chazzy and welcome back to What's the Damage, you know a series of videos on this channel here where I'm talking about some really controversial topics, you know, that last video hopefully won't get me cancelled, you know, but, uh, you know, it, it's been uh, it's been a little crazy today, you know, I've, all of the, the three of us I've recorded on one sitting have been What's the Damage, you know, it's been really crazy and I'm just trying to voice my opinions without getting hated by the population and the, the world and whatnot, you know, but today I'm going to be talking about something in a much broader sense than before you know that I think doesn't affect every country in the world you know but I, it's something that I see a lot here in mind you know and a little bit in the United States but um I'm gonna be talking about children and like the educational system that the world is based on today you know but it's also going to involve a few generational things like how we raise our kids at home how we teach them to play and view the world outside you know and this idea here the very concept of this video stems from me seeing parents today trying to raise their kids the same way that they were raised, even though it's clearly impossible, you know? Like a parent today might complain that their child is too addicted to technology, you know? They're too addicted to their computers and their tablets and their video games and their smartphones, you know? But like if you, if you really stop to analyze it, a child today, whenever they start to throw a tantrum, you know, what a parent does just to make them shut up is give them a phone and let them watch YouTube videos, you know? usually uncensored like I think it's really rare for parents to like uh, to filter out what their children are watching you know instead of using the the YouTube kids app they let them watch YouTube freely which is a place that doesn't always have content just for kids you know YouTube is kind of like a it, it's a really nice place but it can kind of get a little bit into the deep web territory you know depending on what you're looking for so YouTube is a huge vast universe of content that's not all made for children you know and the thing is that a lot of the parents that I see today, they don't really seem to care, you know? They just, because the children are watching a video so they're quiet, they're not bothering them, they're not crying and screaming. However, they don't necessarily monitor what their kids are watching, you know? So then the child grows up becoming addicted to smartphones, you know? And thinking that it's normal to have a phone in their hands 24 seven, you know? So then when they take away the phone, that's when the child starts doing a tantrum again. And then what are you gonna do? You know, you gave them the phone so so they would not give a tantrum then you took away the phone and they are now having another tantrum you know so this is the problem here like I think that the parents today are relying too much on technology to kind of like a like uh, get the attention of their of their kids but at the same time complaining that their kids aren't for example going outside to play sports or something you know look if your kid doesn't want to go outside and play they're not going to go outside and play man you can't force them to even actually you can't a parent can force a child to do something but they're not going to want to they're going to just sit out there and look at the sky wondering when they can go back inside and play on their phone or something you know this generation today is very reliant on technology and I don't think that this is necessarily a bad thing you know because our parents when they grew up they didn't have technology probably didn't have gaming consoles unless you had money you know so they would have to go outside and play I understand that you know my generation you know me and a lot of my friends had video games at home when we were younger you know we had the Xboxes and the PlayStation 1s and their Nintendos what have you so I mean we were pretty okay you know we were happy sometimes we would go outside but usually it wouldn't take long because we would want to go back inside to play games you know so that's how my generation was and the generation of today seems to be a little bit of a mixture of both but they do stay indoors a lot more even if they go outside to get some exercise they, they stay indoors a lot more playing games you know but hey to me there's nothing wrong with it man it's just the generation you no know? it's the generational changes you know and if you educate your kids like if you teach them to balance things out like play a little bit of video games but also go outside a little bit then that's much healthier but if your child prefers to just go outside or prefers to just stay inside there's nothing wrong with it man you can't force a child to like something that they don't like you know Bear with me here for a second. Bear with me here. If you have a child, you know, and they're at the age where they're still learning to like, to, to they, they're still a, a creating interest and they don't really know what they like and don't like yet. If you force them to do something that they clearly don't enjoy, I mean, do you really think they're going to grow up enjoying it? Do, do you think they're going to grow up and start to like it? I really don't think that's how psych child psychologists, you know, respond to this, you know, because like I can understand that if they're young enough, then you can create this habit in them. But if 
if they're already at an age where you're trying to force them to study something that they don't like, for example, then it's just going to be a lot of pressure on them and they're not going to like it, you know? I know people, I have friends who have gone to college to become engineers and doctors, you knowing they're very successful, they work in the area today, but they're not happy because it's not what they wanted to do, it's what their families wanted them to do, you know? Ever since they were kids, you know, their, their entire families were engineers, you know, or dev, or software developers or, or doctors or lawyers, you know, so the, the family kind of forces them to do something, you know, so they can kind of uh, continue the family honor, let's say which I think is really wrong, you know? I mean, like, uh, you you have to, like, why would you dedicate so many years of your life to studying something and then get a job doing it even though you don't like it, you know? You really should, per you, you should have a preference of doing what you prefer to do, you know? A preference for what you prefer to do. You should always give preference to what you want to do, you know? And, like, trying to instill this sense of responsibility in kids is really wrong because it's not going to get them anywhere, you know? And trying to educate them. Today, we have a serious problem because there are a lot of parents who are very conservative, you know, who uh, not to say, you know, prejudiced, you know, it's, 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 it's for lack of a better term, and they are trying to teach their children to hate minorities, you know, whether it's, you know, uh, black people or Asians or, or the, the gay community, you know, they're, they're, they are teaching their kids the practice of homophobia before they can even, you know, formulate sentences together, you know, man, it's really dumb, and the child is going to grow up, you know, my parents did this to me, you know, for so many years they tried to make me be as prejudiced as they are, but like after I got to a certain age, I started to like understand better, you know, why am I why am I disliking these people who have never done anything to me, you know? So I started to ask questions, you know, which I think certain kids today will also when they get older, you know? So trying to educate them in a negative way is going to have negative impacts on their lives in the future, you know? And eventually they will get to the age where they will naturally start to question these things and then start to go against what their parents said you know so like a, you, what you should do is try to always teach your kids to be balanced you know in all areas of their lives you know try not, never dislike something or like something just let them decide when they have enough uh, when they are old enough to you know there is this thing now where certain parents are against the schools having a uh, gay kids where the children can uh, understand homosexuality and that it's okay for boys to like boys and girls to like girls you know there are many parents who are against this today you know and honestly I me I would be a parent who wouldn't care man if I had a son and he grows up to be gay, that's fine. That That's on him. I don't really care, you know? Whatever makes him happy. I'm straight, so uh, his mother would also be straight. You know, I hope so. I hope my future wife doesn't pull a, a freaking, uh, 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 what was her name? Um... You guys ever saw Friends, you know, Ross, you know, he was married to a woman for many years, but then she later became a lesbian, you know, I forgot her name, uh, Kelly, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was Kelly, but I'll, if it's not, I'll just correct it here in post, you know, but I'm pretty sure it was Kelly, so I hope that that doesn't happen to me, you know, and if I have a daughter who grows up to be a lesbian, that's fine too, you know, I really wouldn't care. You know, as long as they're with somebody who makes them happy, you know, it's all good. So they can procreate however the hell they want, man. That's how humans are, you know. We can't expect everybody to follow what society has dictated to be normal over all these years. Look, what I'm seeing is that the most important thing we are not teaching our kids today, you know, which is love and compassion, you know, teaching them to, to understand and respect other people's opinions, you know, and love them, you know, unconditionally and teach them to be, you know, like prom, uh, how can I say, um, you know, respectful members of society, you know, who can be looked upon as examples. And I don't really see that happening today. I got, I got a new job recently teaching out of school and all of my students are kids and I love them to death. You know, they're all sweethearts. Yes, there are a few that misbehave here and there, but they are still pretty respectful, you know? So my kids, you know, like uh, as a teacher, not as a father, not yet. Oh God, I don't want that to happen right now. But my kids at the school, they, I can under, I can like see that their parents raised them really well or are still raising them, you know, because some of them are still really, really young. So they are being raised the right way, you know? And I wish every child on the planet could be raised the same way, you know, because we have to teach them to, we're supposed to be examples for them, you know? So if a parent is prejudiced you know, or racist or what have you against a minority, how can that be looked at as a good example for their child, you know? You're supposed to teach them to understand and accept, you know? Like, what happened to that? Like, is it so hard to teach a child? Like, how? why is it so hard for you to look at your kid and say it's okay to be gay, for example, you know? Or not every black person is a criminal, you know? Or uh, not every Asian has COVID, you know? I mean, I don't understand what's so hard about this, you know? Or just to say, look, uh, 
you can do whatever you want to do when you grow up you know if you have a dream follow it you know uh, I, I as a parent will always help you you know and uh, that's how I'm gonna try to be with my own kids you know not that my parents weren't the same way with me when I still live with them but we just started to grow apart over the years you know and today our relationship is a little on the rocks you know but I mean uh, I don't know man they're my parents I still love them and I know they still love me you know and it's really hard sometimes to remember that but that's what family is all about you know and I just hope that one day I can teach my kids, you know, the good things that my parents taught me, but also, you know, the, the good things that I also have to share as well, you know. So we have to educate our kids properly, man, you know. We have to try to keep them on the straight and narrow so they don't stray like we did a few times, you know, even though everybody will make mistakes. But anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this video up here, guys. You know, I've been recording for over 10 minutes and I actually have to get going. I got to be somewhere right now. I'm actually almost a little late, so I'm going to end it here. But I'm really anxious to hear your opinions about this if you have kids yourself especially you know let me know what you thought about my opinions here and if you like this video please go ahead and give it a like and also subscribe to my channel because i release videos every single day and you might as well hit the notification bell too while you're at it so you can know exactly what time i upload every day huh and it's all good guys i'm gonna get going i'm really hungry i gotta go have lunch at my folks place speaking of which i gotta go to my parents house this is chazzy signing out for now and as always i will see you guys in the next video road the outro screen